Welcome back to Quarantine Cooking, episode two. We're here over here at the Neon Exchange with Tony Bowles. Yes. Tony Bowles, yes. I said, right, say hi to Tony, <laughs> everybody. Uh, thank you for uh, tuning in again. Uh, the first one was a success. It came out really good. We're really happy with it. Thank you, everybody that viewed it. Uh, remember to always like it and subscribe to our channel. Uh, also, uh, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a little bit of our, our garlic soy meatballs. Um, we're also going to be doing a vegetable fried rice and also a fresh cucumber salad. Uh, we all hope that you're going to stay safe out there, staying healthy, um, working in the six, six feet apart. Uh, I know the quarantine is hard for a lot of people, so we want to put this wonderful show together to, to see what you can use at your house. As you can see here for our menu today, we're going to use the regular flour that we have, some soy sauce, carrots, peas. I have a can of mixed vegetables, onion, some nice rice, this is a long grain rice. You can use any rice you want. And also we got some chili flakes. Uh, so, so that's what we're gonna be cooking today. And again, thank you for tuning in and let's do it. it's gonna be uh, really nice today and you're really gonna enjoy it. At this time, I wanna introduce Leo again. Thank you, Leo. Hey, Leo. Hey guys, Leo with the uh, Mount Madonna Y. Um, thanks for everybody who tuned in last time and was able to kind of check out what we're doing here. Um, so, uh, the Y is still out there in the communities. We're still serving meals to our seniors in Morgan Hill and Gilroy every day. We're serving up close to about 150 meals. Um, our child care program in Morgan Hill is still accepting registrations for those who are still working and our first responders. Um, and then if there's anything that anybody needs still, we're here, the Y's here, just go ahead and reach out to us. Uh, if it's food that you need or any miscellaneous things that we can help out with, we're more, more than willing to help. Thanks again to Neon Exchange for having us here again. Uh, Chef's gonna do his thing and uh, Take it from there. All right. Andrea, how are you doing, Andrea? Andrea Nicolette, uh, YMCA, we want to give you a shout out. Thank you for uh, this wonderful idea of getting us all together and uh, then get, get the quarantine cooking going on. So uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to start off with our garlic soy meatballs. Um, it's a little step up. At this time, you want to turn on your oven to 350. Uh, get that preheated nice and warm so when you put those meatballs in, they cook right away and get a nice and seal on that. So we're gonna start off today by cutting our onion. We're gonna get a good nice dice to this. And what we're gonna do is saute it. And we're gonna cook it down and we're gonna let it chill out. This is what's gonna, it's gonna go inside the meatballs. So at this time you wanna have your saute pan ready. There we go. Have we practiced? You've been practicing on <laughs> the <laughs> We have our onion again, you guys. So onion, to cut our onion again, we'll do a little demonstration. We're gonna cut the tip off. Cut the tail off. Get that out of the way. There we go. And just be careful where you're cooking and uh, and cutting. Make sure there's little, little, little kids around. Make sure they don't get their fingers cut. I know there's a lot. I know there's a lot of little kids running around the house right now. So just be careful. In the middle, right? Yeah. So what we're gonna do here is cut the lines in the middle. Leo remembers. I've been doing it. You've been doing it, Leo. Yeah. There we go. So you have three cuts. One, two, three. There we go. And what you're gonna do is just right here, slice it down. When you put them closer together, it's gonna be a smaller cut. Wider apart, thicker cut. There we go. So all you do is just go down. One, two, three. There we go, there we go. So let's cut that right there. You gotta hurry up so I don't cry and Look like a cry baby here. <laughs> there we go. All right. And what we're gonna do with this onion is we're gonna get it. In, uh, we're gonna cook it down a little bit so we get that crisp out of the way. You don't want it too fresh. You don't want a, uh, a raw onion in your meatball. So we're gonna cook it down with a little bit of uh, olive oil and just get it cooked down. And then we'll we'll chill it out. We'll cool it off. There we go. There we go. Just chop that one up right there. Have you been cooking a lot, Leo? Yeah. Yeah, I actually did like a uh, chicken quesadilla, and then I took your idea with uh, the chicken press. Yes. And I stuffed it with some cheese and 
How did it come out? Good, good, nice. You look ready to get married, ladies, so. <laughs> <laughs> Eligible bachelor, bachelor number one. <laughs> right. So we're gonna get this on, on high right here. We're gonna add a little bit of oil. There it is, a little drop. Just went a little wet. There we go. I'm gonna get those onions going. Tony, you wanna come over here and take a look at that? There we go. We're just cooking those onions. Cook them down a little bit. Let it get a little uh, sizzle. Like, and again, you don't want you don't want a fresh, you don't want a uh, a raw onion in your meatball. You get that raw bite. It's not really appealing. Uh, so we're gonna cook these down. Mix it with a little bit of garlic and add it to the meatball. So as this is cooking right here, we'll cook it down for about a good four minutes. Add a little garlic, and we'll let, then after that, we'll let it sit for a little bit and let it cool off. So here we go tonight. You can see it's a little translucent, looks a little softer. Uh, they're cooked, not too brown, not burnt, not caramelized, just nice and cooked down. So all we'll do at this time, we're gonna be adding a little bit of garlic. Just a little bit of garlic, and you don't want that to cook too much, and it will burn. A little thing, the one or two sauce, one, two, and if you could do this, then I like you. I you're, like my, you. you're my hero. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. And we're gonna let that, we're gonna put this into a bowl, right here. There we go. And we're just gonna put this to the side and we'll let this cool off a little bit. You don't have to put it in the fridge, you can if you want. But we'll just put it to the side for right now, let it cool off. So we're gonna add it to, to the raw, hamburger, to, the, to the hamburger meat, but we need it cool. We don't wanna put a, something hot into something cold and start the cooking process that uh, it doesn't cook right. So when you get that to about room temperature, let it cool off. Actually, what we're gonna do is go ahead and put it in the fridge a little bit. Leo, can you put that in the fridge, please? Thank you, Leo. So next thing is, uh, next thing we're gonna do is our white rice, our steamed rice. There's always a lot of questions about steamed rice, you know, how much water, um, you know, if you're using white rice, brown rice, um, you using all these different rices. Today we're gonna be using a long grain rice. So that's gonna be a two to one ratio. Two cups of water, one cup rice. Well, very easy, I'll walk you through each step and we'll get it with them. We'll show you exactly what I look for, the sound, Exactly, when you, when you cover it, we'll show you everything right now. So what we're gonna do in here, I got a cup of rice. We're gonna cup this measured out. I did use a measuring cup. Got a cup of rice there. Next thing we're gonna do is measure out two cups of water. There we go. Got one cup. Get this to a. And you're gonna add the rice to it. Give it a little stir. A lot of people like to add um, um, salt to it, um, pepper seasoning. We're making fried rice with this, so I'm not gonna add no seasoning to it because we're gonna be adding soy sauce and some vegetables and some other stuff to it later. So right now I just want to get a good boil on this. And once this gets boiling, you'll see you'll see it start evaporating and you start seeing little holes within the rice where the where it's evaporating. That's when you want to put it on low and put the lid on top of it. I did bring on this, here we go. Again I want to thank Tony for letting us come in this wonderful kitchen. Uh, over here at the Neon Exchange. Um, I love it. Look how beautiful it is. I, I love cooking here. Uh, we've done many caterings here, and uh, once all the, all the craziness goes away, we definitely want to come back and keep doing a lot of caterings here. So make sure you like our page, also. Yes. Jesse, Jesse Gonzalez, I know you're looking. You're gonna like it. <laughs> that helps us keep us motivated with posting more um, content. Definitely. So, Tony, tell us about a little bit how you're keeping yourself busy these times. Yes. Um, the other thing I'm doing is developing a YouTube channel with my son's help. So this, <laughs> this is what we're working on. <laughs> I know. I know. Um, 
You have two twin kids. Yes. And uh, you were telling me a little story about what they did. What they did. Yes. Oh, yeah. So anyway, so their birthday was March 15th, and they collected all of their donations for the YMCA. Um, both Sophia and Austin take part in basketball camps, the entire eight-week course of summer camp for YMCA. So they have donated their entire birthday money plus... Yes. Loon LLC, who's a subsidiary of Google, has contributed. So the total amount was $300 that they raised for the YMCA. And they hope that they, that can go towards kids who wouldn't otherwise be able to afford the camps or the sports programs or things of that sort. Cause Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much for doing that. Um, especially during these times for the kids to be willing to save up all their birthday funds and willing to donate it to such a good cause. Uh, we can't thank you enough, so thank you so much. Yeah, huge shout out to Loon LLC. So, Daddy Chris Bowles makes mechanics for the satellite that actually is uh, shot out into space for second and third world countries to get access to uh, internet over those countries. Yeah. And so he was able to match whatever they were donated. And wow. so that's why we came up with $300. So anyway, Thank congratulations. You. Thank you. <laughs> Great Thank job, you. young guys. Definitely. Thank you. Good job. Good job. So we're getting back to the rice. We're getting a little boil here. We're letting it go. Um, if you're doing brown rice, you definitely you could use brown rice. Do a three to one ratio. Brown rice is going to be a little harder. Still has this outer exterior to it. So it's going to be a little harder to, to break down and steam and cook. White rice, two to one. Brown rice, three to one. So just always remember that three to one, two to one, and you're good. You got it going good. We're letting this boil a little more. After you, I, after I put it in and get a boil, there's no need to mix it. There's no reason to touch it. You set it and forget it. Okay, we're going to put it in here. Letting it go. Tony, can you come see over here, Tony? Can you see a little bit how it's going? Here we go. Oh, yeah. We're trying to maintain here, staying six feet apart still, and being safe. Leo, do you, do you eat a lot of rice? Sometimes, yeah. Well, not I try to not carve it up as much. Yeah. Now, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I did, but also, Keto diet. A lot of people you could do also is if you don't want to use regular rice, you can make cauliflower rice. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Get your cauliflower, ground it up in your grounder and, and your processor, and you don't have to boil it, of course, because it's already. You just have to saute it with some vegetables, add some soy sauce, and there you go, you got cauliflower fried rice. Nice. There you go for your dates. Yeah. <laughs> about how much time do you need to have that boil, Chef? Uh, well, we let the boil, we've been going for about, uh, about four minutes. Okay. About four minutes, and then the boil is getting to a very hard boil now. And then start reducing, once that liquid gets, gets uh, evaporated, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll start, we'll put a cover on it, a lid, and we'll let it steam and finish it off. Okay. But we're definitely gonna put it on low. All right, here we go. We've been go for about uh, seven, that's uh, almost eight minutes, let it boil down. As you can see now, I'm gonna get a little closer. Come here, come over to see right here. You can see the little holes and the, the bubbles coming out. So that means the water's gonna be gone already almost. So what we wanna do now is put it on low. Go on the lowest possible, and put a lid on it. Done. So you wanna look at it in about another five minutes. And take it off the flame and just let it steam by itself. It'll be, it'll be done. So at this time, we're gonna let that go by itself. You have the oven on. You have your oven on at 350. So what at this time we're gonna do, Leo, I'm gonna need your help with this one. Sure. We're gonna need to take out the onions and the, and the hamburger meat out of here. Um, if you don't like hamburger meat, you can use uh, ground turkey, ground chicken. Um, there's so many different options you can use for your meatballs. Thank you, sir. Here we go. Thank you, those onions. Onions nice and cool now. And they're still a little lukewarm. Uh, we haven't had them in there that long, but they're not hot, so that's a good thing. And we're gonna use a sheet pan to make them. So a couple of ingredients I'm gonna get for the meatballs, you can be your salt, pepper, you have your onions and your garlic. So a lot of people like to, they go, okay, well, where's the breadcrumbs? A lot of people like to put breadcrumbs. Um, a lot of people like to add so many different things. This one, we're just gonna add no breadcrumbs. You can if you want at home, if you want. We're gonna go onions, garlic. Onions, garlic. This actually has garlic in there already. Onions, garlic, salt, pepper. 
and the meat. That's all we're gonna do. We're gonna get a little toss here. We're gonna add all this right in here. That smells great. Uh, what do you think, Leo? Clear as your sinuses, yeah, buddy. Really, <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna add some pepper there. Not too much salt because you gotta remember what you're cooking. We're, we're doing a um, Asian Asian style meal. We're gonna be doing our garlic soy meatballs, which is this. We're gonna be doing our vegetable fried rice, which has soy. And our cucumber salad is gonna have uh, some salt and lemon in that. So if you over salt this, it's gonna mess up the whole meal. It's gonna have more salt coming. It's gonna have soy, the sauce is gonna be a soy sauce, which is very salty. You're gonna have soy in the vegetable fried rice, which is very salty. So you just wanna add a little bit, just for a little bit of flavor. Not, not too much. So we're gonna get a, a good mix on here. You can see that, Tony, coming right here. Good mix, that's it, real easy. And I make these at home, we do teriyaki sauce, we'll do sriracha, sriracha sauce, I like spicy food, so uh, we do so many different versions of these. There we go. And Leo's actually gonna make the meatballs for me. There we go, Leo, so we're looking for about, remember these are, this is 85, uh, 85, 85, 15. So 85 meat, 15 fat, so we want that. We want a little bit of that fat in there. So here we are, perfectly mixed. I think we can add a little more pepper. Leo, wanna throw some pepper in there? Sure. There we go. You gotta do it up high like Salt Bay guy. There you go, there you, there you go, Leo. Perfect, there you go. In? Perfect, thank you, Leo. And it's we got a good mix. We got the onions incorporated in there, the garlic. Smells great. So what I do is I grab a little piece, here we go. And all you do is get one hand flat, and the other hand is gonna be make the form. I just form the ball. This is like your little table. There, and here we go. And roll it. Bada bing, bada boom. Perfect. So Leo's actually gonna finish these for me. How many do you want? Uh, let's use the, all the meat. Okay. I'm gonna clean up over here real quick, check the rice. Leo's gonna finish the meatballs. We gotta get this guy involved over here. We gonna get him going. There you go. Thank you, Leo. Let me know when you're done. We'll put him in the oven, okay? Okay. Sounds good. Thank you, Leo. Leo, you what's me? your highlight of working for the YMCA over the years? For the 20 plus years you've been working. Wow. Um. Come on. There's gotta fun. be like that one pivotal no, but moment. As a, Leo. You got it, buddy. As of recent, it's probably just been working with the, the seniors. That was probably one of the one program areas that I didn't have much experience in. You know, I've done the swim lessons, the basketball, and all the youth sports stuff and after school programs, but working with the seniors was something new to me. So now that I've been helping out during this, uh, you know, during this time and been able to kind of hang out with them or at least engage with them when they're driving up and, you know, just to chat with them for like a minute while we're passing out their food, that kind of seems like it's been fun. So it's going to be exciting once things get back to normal we can uh, actually like you know get back to our senior centers and I can engage with these people with with some of the seniors you know at a different level actually sit down and maybe have like a lunch with them because it's kind of been just them driving up and us passing out food so for the most part that's kind of been I guess the uh, the highlight as of recent but just in general I guess it's just been being able to serve the community being able to kind of you know, moved over here from San Jose and, and you know, established myself in Gilroy and, you know, you kind of can't walk around the grocery stores without someone calling your name or something like that, but it, it's cool, it's fun. It's thank, you for, thank you for everything you do. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So here we go, we have the meatballs that Leo made. You can see those onions in there. You can see the garlic, pepper, a little bit of salt. So this is going to go right in the oven. Oven's on at 350. I had to preheat it. 350. Top rack? The top rack. Nothing else is coming in here. Okay. 350. But look at it after 10 minutes. Take a look at it. And then um, it should be almost there. 10 to 12 minutes. I think we're going to be good on that. Uh, this time we turned off our rice. It's steaming. So we're just going to put this to the side. Let it finish steaming. It'll be another maybe two, three minutes. Then after, once that's finished steaming, we're gonna do our fried rice. So let me get everything ready for our fried rice. 
I used to run an uh, Asian restaurant in Austin, and I'm actually New Braunfels, Texas, so I have a lot of experience working with uh, Asian food, and um, we do fried rice at my house all the time, many, bunch of different ways. Uh, my girlfriend did one the other day with some ham in there, and it was delicious, delicious. Everybody has their own version of homemade fried rice, and they're all delicious. There we go. I'll see that a little bit, get that going. And at this time you want to add your rice. We're going to add all this rice. Like so. And what I do is I grab my handle like this and I just chop it up. Chop it up. When I worked in a uh, at the Asian restaurant, we used to have a walk that was like 800 degrees. It was a lot safer. A lot safer with this. You can see it's getting mixed well with the rice. Here we go. You see that, Tony? Can you see that really good? You can smell it, you can hear it, smell it. And at this time, we want to add some soy sauce. So the trick with this is soy sauce, it's salty. You never want to add too much. You don't want it too dark. So you're looking for color. What color are you looking for? Do you want it real salty or not too salty? Because if you over sauce it, you can't take that sauce out. But if you under sauce it, you can always add to it. So right now we're just going to put a little bit in there. And we'll look at the color. You can see the color right now. It's a light brown caramel. You can see it get darker. I just dropped the carrot there. <laughs> we'll grab that later, I promise you. And for me, that's perfect. I don't want it darker. I don't want it darker than that. So that was probably about, mm, about three tablespoons. About three tablespoons I took, I took in, threw in there. And what we want to do is let it cook down a little bit. Get the whole meaning of fried rice going. And saute it a little bit. Let it, let it dry out. You can even add a little pepper to it. I like that. I like peppery stuff. What do you think, Leo? You like fried rice? Yeah. 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 And express that. <laughs> <laughs> They're good. I like it. Take a look at that. At the same time, you have the meatballs cooking. Let's take a look at the meatballs, shall we? Let's take a look at these meatballs here. They've been in there probably about seven minutes. Uh, so you can tell they're still pink. I'm gonna give them some time. About another five minutes or so. All right, so we're back here. So what we're, we got going on right now is we have our fried rice cooked already, keeping it warm back here. We got our meatballs right over here. So take a look at these. Ooh. And you can see the browning, the, the fat's mm. cooking. So you're looking probably another minute, two minutes the most. Here we go. And that's been going for 12 minutes. We're going for 12 minutes, so you're looking about 14 to 15 minutes uh, cooking time on those. So what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna start the sauce, but before we start the sauce, I'm gonna make a slurry. If you have anybody ever made a slurry, it's to thicken a sauce. Uh, a lot of people use cornstarch because it's a uh, you can taste less of it in it. Uh, we're using the flour, and all it is is a, a water, water and flour mixture. So I'm gonna do a. This is gonna be a half cup of flour. Then we're gonna put a half cup of water in here. And, we'll, and what we'll do there is get a good little mixture. I'm gonna get one of your spoons here, Tony. And all we'll do is get a good little mixture on that. And what this is gonna do is thicken up your, your sauce. 
See how thick it is? You don't want it like that. You want it a little more watery. So, and then if your sauce gets too thick, you add too much, you're like, oh my God, it's like, it's like oatmeal, it's too thick. Add some water to it, it'll, it'll bring it back to life. So this is the thickening agent. Yes, yeah. Like I said, you can use cornstarch or flour. It's still a little, a little thick, like really close there. I'm actually just gonna like a drop. There we go. That's what I'm looking for right there. So we did a half cup of flour. I'd probably do a, a, a cup of water. That's what we're looking for right there, really loose. And we're gonna put this to the side and I'm gonna show you how to make the sauce. Again, I work for this, this Asian restaurant in Texas and I used to make all the sauces from scratch, so we make some pretty good sauces. We're gonna start off with soy. soy how sauce. much of soy did you put in? Um, I just poured it out of the bottle. You can pour as much as you want. Um, okay. This is a, um, a 10 ounce. So I probably did about a good six ounces right there. We're gonna add garlic. It's gonna be a tablespoon of garlic. We're gonna add chili flakes, a teaspoon of chili flakes. My daughter loves chili flakes. And if you don't have chili flakes at home like this in a jar, um, if you ever order pizza and they send you with extra packages, you have them in your drawer, like I do. Everybody has that drawer with all your ketchups, mustards, Parmesan cheese, chili flakes. Open one up, put it right in there. Do you have a drawer like that? Yeah. Uh, do you, Tony? Oh, yeah. Everybody does. If you don't have one, you're lying. So we got garlic in there, soy, and we have chili flakes. What I'm gonna add is a little bit of sugar. It's gonna be about a tablespoon of sugar. There we go. That's just to sweeten it up a little bit. And when you feel the sugar dissolving, you wanna add in the slurry. When it, the slurry will not work if it's not boiling. You gotta bring this to a boil first. It'll, it'll activate and it'll work together. Don't add no salt to this because the soy sauce is very salty already. And we added the sugar to bring down that, that saltiness to get a good balance of sweet, get a little bit sour, and give a little bit of salt in there also. So there we go, I'm gonna add a little bit of this. So you're scooping it in a little bit of Yes, you could pour it if you like, if, you're, if you, you feel like that'd be better for you, but don't add a lot at a time, just a little bit. Go like that, a little bit in there. You're playing with it. You're, 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 you're adding a little bit, checking how thick it is. So it's still real watery. Mm -hmm. I don't want that. Let me let it come to a little hotter. Get a little hotter. Then we'll show you right now. There's a fine science behind there, it. There is. It's, it's tricky. It's tricky. I'm just. I mean, like I said, if it gets too thick, add a little bit of water. You're good. You can't. You can't really. Oh, there it goes. See, it's thickening up a little more and you see it. A lot of people like to go like that and you can see from the back of it how thick it's getting. Uh, see how fast it runs? You can see how fast it's running. See that? Look at that, how thick it got already. Just, I think that's wonderful right there. That's temperature regular. I mean, so it's just a matter of time. Yes, yeah. Put a little bit in there and as soon as the water, the whatever substance you have in your liquid starts boiling, it'll start activating with with the thickener, they'll start working together. See, look at now. There we go. I think that's perfect. We don't leave. I'm gonna turn it off there, and this is what you're looking for right here. See that sauce? Look at that. Has that garlic, the pepper flakes in there, the soy, and the sugar, and we mixed it all in with the slurry. And if you want it real thick, you can put it real thick. If you want it like this, it's perfect. So the last thing we're gonna do before we take out our meatballs, so our meatballs are gonna be done already. They've been cooking for about, for about 13 minutes, 13, 14 minutes. They are done already. 
I'm going to turn off the oven. I want you to take a look at those. Let's open one up. Let's take a look at them, you guys. Here we go. See that? Voila. Done. There we go. What do you think? Fantastic. Sounds great. <laughs> so the last thing we're going to do, I know you guys are asking, well, you saw in the ingredients list, you saw eggs. A lot of people like to add their eggs inside their inside their fried rice. I like to cook my eggs on the side and put them on top. And they, they look better. Uh, you get more egg out of it. And you'll see exactly what I'm doing right here. So all we're going to do is just a little bit of this uh, vanilla olive oil mix. Very little bit, there you go. I just have two eggs here. Two eggs and drop them in. You could scramble them ahead of time. You could uh, do whatever you do with eggs. I just crack them in there. No seasoning at all. Let me take off my gloves here real quick. I got some egg on them. And what I do, I mix them in here. Get a good little mixture on those eggs. And just let them scramble. They'll come up to a scramble right now. Are you hungry, Tony? You ready to try this? I am definitely hungry. <laughs> so you got all the wonderful smells. You have your, your oven should be off by now. You have your meatballs already. They smell great. You have your fried rice. It smells wonderful. Can you want to pull out that salad for me? Gotcha. We have that wonderful salad. So here we are with the scrambled egg. It's done. Just a scrambled egg. Those are the two eggs that are on the list for the uh, ingredients. Put them to the side. So what we're going to do, we're going to plate now. Now, I encourage all you guys to, on Facebook, Instagram, download your, your plating. I want to see what you, how you guys are plating it. I want to see what, what you guys are doing different than what I'm doing. Uh, very interested to see everyone's ideas, everyone's take on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some rice. Here's some of our fried rice. Oh my God. And I like to make a little line with it. There we go. I like to put the egg right on top. What do you think, Leo? Great. The next is the meatballs. Actually, no, the salad. We're going to do the salad next. Toss, give it a last toss. And if you have any toothpicks at home, any kind of toothpicks, skewers, uh, anything, anything like that, grab a meatball, put it right in there. Let's grab two of them. There's two. Let's grab two more. We'll save some for you, Leo. Don't worry. We'll save some for you, all right? <laughs> there we go. One and two. So last but not least, Wonderful soy sauce that we have. You know, look wonderful. It smells so good. Out of bing, out of boom. Enjoy, you guys. <laughs> All right, Tony. So we have Tony Bowles here. Is going to give you our sampler. So let us know what you think. Oh, what are you smelling? What are the smells? I smell a lot of garlic. I smell a lot of onion, soy. I love soy. Oh my god. Good. And the salad. It's a good pa mm -hmm. palate cleanser. The cilantro reminds me of my grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely cleans your palate as you go eating mm -hmm. that soy. And let's try out the meatballs, see what you guys think. Did you get some of that sauce in there? Let me get some. Oh mm, my god. So the good. bomb. Good, <laughs> I'm glad you like it. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> so good. Cool. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. Oh, and then we are, we're here to the end of our show to uh, quarantine cooking episode two. We got our wonderful meatballs, fried rice, and our wonderful salad. Please try this at home. 
and upload your pictures if you have any pictures on Instagram or Facebook and definitely tag us. Uh, we have uh, Tony with the Neon Exchange, Tony Bulls with the Neon Exchange. We have uh, Andrea Nicolette with the YMCA. Thank you, Andrea, for putting this all together. We got Leo. What's your last name, Leo? Kusabay. Kusabay. All right, from the YMCA, and my name is Chef Mark Segovia. I am on uh, Segovia's Catering on Instagram and Facebook. Our website is segoviascatering.com. Please subscribe and like our video here today, and uh, hopefully we, you guys tune in for episode three of Quarantine Cooking. Thank you. All right, thank you.